As you can see, it is still snowy out there in the garden, but that's not going to stop me from getting ready and preparing some uh, eggshells to use outside once it gets nicer and it's not arctic tundra. So let's jump in and take a look at how to prepare eggshells to use in the garden. Hey darling and welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie Martin and I'm just a city girl who wishes she was a country girl who is currently living in the burbs. So on this channel we talk about everything micro homesteading from gardening indoors, outdoors, um, and everything in between. So if that's what you're into then go ahead and hit subscribe and the notification bell so you will know when I post videos in the future. And if you like this video then give it a thumbs up because apparently YouTube likes that. I wanted to walk you guys through how I prepare my eggshells. Um, it's not to say it's the only way or the right way, it's just my way. Okay, so let's talk about three myths that tend to be spread all over the place about eggshells. Number one, they are good for keeping slugs away from your plant. Number two, that they can be used as a replacement for diatomaceous earth. And number three, that they're going to help prevent blossom end rot. So, Here's what I have to say about that. So if you have slugs in the garden, probably the best way that you can deal with them is to make a slug trap and just take a container, bury it in the um, ground so that the edge of the container is flush with the soil, put some beer in it, that's probably gonna be the best way to take care of your slugs. When I was doing some research, I came across a post from All About Slugs. Um, I will put a link in the description below to it, where they were doing some testing around slugs and eggshells and how it worked. And so they had put some food inside eggshells and then they had some that was not inside eggshells and the slugs actually seemed to be more attracted to the ones that had the eggshells around it and they were able to go over them no problem. So they're probably not gonna help with your slugs. That said, if you are doing it and it is working for you, you do you and continue doing what you're doing. Next, diatomaceous earth. This is primarily made up of silica and while you can grind eggshells to a powder and we're going to get to that in a minute, um, it's not the same thing. It might look like a white powder, but the eggshells are made up of 95 to 97% calcium carbonate, um, which is not the same as silica. So it's just not gonna be the same replacement. Um, if you have bugs that are you can get rid of with diatomaceous earth, just go out and get, the di get that um, instead of trying to use ground up eggshells. And the last one about blossom end rot. So blossom end rot does have to do with calcium. Um, but it is typically not caused by a deficiency of calcium in the soil. Uh, typically what it is, it's usually caused by watering. What it does is it affects the plant's ability to absorb calcium from the soil and to efficiently move that calcium through itself and get it to the fruit. And when that happens, that's when you typically get the blossom end rot. And once that occurs, you might as well just pick those fruit off and you can compost them. It's not a disease, so it's not going to hurt anything, uh, but they're not going to develop properly once that's occurred. So while I was doing all my research on eggshells, another thing I came across was about how people like to say you can put it in your compost. And you can, but you're not just going to go crumple them up and throw them in. Well, I mean, you could. But they're going to stay like that. Eggshells are really hard. They don't tend to... Um, biodegrade very easily. Uh, so you can grind them up and that's actually going to help them decompose faster. It's still going to take a long time, um, but there's still a value to add to the compost, but they need to be in that powder form. One of the things that I'm planning to do in the spring is to get um, a vermicomposting setup going and then eggshells can be really useful when again ground into a small powder um, and the worms can use that. Um, they like the grit. So now let's get this show on the road and get these eggshells into the oven. So I pretty much just rinse them and then store them in the jar until I have enough. And then once I have enough, then I'm just going to uh, cover a cookie sheet in aluminum foil and I just lay them all out in a single layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. So here I have all the eggshells just laid out in a single layer on a cookie sheet with some aluminum foil and then they are just ready to go into the oven. So you're going to want to put them into a very low heat. We're actually gonna do it at 200 degrees. Start that. And it's going to, we're going to put them on for 30 minutes. So we'll just give this a chance to get up to temperature. 
and then we will pop them in the oven. Let's get these guys in the oven. And we will put them on for 30 minutes. All right, now we wait. So I use the winter bullet. I have a separate one. It's actually got the milling blade on it. Uh, give me a second and I'll get it open. Okay, so I use this one and just this one for the eggshell. So it's got the, I think it's the grain milling blade on here. And then you can see I've done many in there. Then once they're off and they've cooled a bit, I just start filling up the container. And then I'll just crush them down. It's amazing how many you can fit in here. And it's, you think you've got a lot of eggshells? Make sure you grind them. Alright. I usually try and push on the back, so. Cut yourself. Alright, so get those in. And we'll put the lid on. Okay, so I got the lid on now, and then we'll just blend it in the Nutribullet for a few seconds. It doesn't take long. And that's it. Not much from that whole thing. And then all I do, so it's just a really fine powder. It's hard to see. And then I keep it all in this little jar. So I'll add that in. Almost full. All right. I love these uh, these lids, these leak-proof lids. I'll put a link down below um, in case anyone's interested. But yeah, so there you have it. That's how I prepare my eggshells for the garden. So I'm curious to know what you guys have found in your gardens when you're using eggshells. So do you just crumple them up? Do you make them into a powder? Have you found that they do help with slugs? Uh, I'll be really interested to know. So let me know down in the comments how you use eggshells in your garden. So that's it. That's how I prepare my eggshells for the garden. Pretty simple. Not much to it. Like I said, I take a couple of extra steps than other people do with the washing and the um, cooking in the oven. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's just something that I do. It doesn't take very long, and I figure just in case there is a risk of any salmonella, why not just try and eliminate it? So hopefully you guys found that helpful, and if you liked it, then go ahead and give a thumbs up down below on the video. And don't forget, gardening is an adventure. It's a matter of figuring out what works for you and your garden. So take the information that's given here or anywhere else and then make your own decisions um, on what works for you. So until next time, make food grow.